Jumbo, fellow dreamers! Today's video, I am sharing with you a tragedy and a triumph. My microwave died last night, and I am not replacing it. And I have a challenge for you to ditch your microwave for 30 days. Are you up for the challenge? I'm Anne, and this is Annie's Simple Life. at my old house we were without a microwave and it was actually fantastic so we moved into this house and we inherited a built-in microwave right above the stove ah it died last night and I'm actually kind of happy about it because I don't love the idea of microwaving your food there have been a lot of studies done about the dangers of microwaves and how it changes the molecular structure of the food not to mention it changes the color and the texture and the taste of the food. So it's not really an appetizing appliance anyway. I don't know. So I was kind of happy that it went kaput yesterday and I'm gonna share with you what I used to do to reheat my food, to cook my food without the use of a microwave. It's really an easy concept. So my first favorite appliance, and I will link all these below, to replace a microwave is a toaster oven. Toaster ovens are just really inexpensive appliances. They sit on your counter, they're easy. All you do, if you wanna toast something, you just Put it in there and hit toast. <laughs> Done. <laughs> if you want to heat up food, you just put your food, whatever you want, on um, either like a ceramic dish or you can put it in a glass Pyrex kind of thing, uh, stoneware, anything like that, anything that's oven proof is toaster oven proof. And you just heat it on up and it takes maybe about five to eight minutes depending on what it is and the temperature that you've set it at and you're done. So really easy and it's really, really nice for heating up pizza, like day old pizza. No one you'd microwave pizza and you'd pull it out and you'd like pick it up and it kind of go droopy and disgusting. Oh, don't love that. So all I do is I put pizza on a piece of aluminum foil and then stick that in the toaster oven and it crisps it up and it's done in like three minutes. So really fast, really easy and I don't miss the microwave at all. So for heating up food for lunches, let's say you're at the office or something, one thing that I used to like to do when I was at an office a few moons ago, I had a little mini crock pot. Really good for heating up soups or casseroles, just any kind of a leftover dish. You'd put it in the small little crock pot in the morning and you'd set it on high for about two to three hours-ish and it was piping hot and ready to go by lunchtime. Really, really easy. And it makes your coworkers jealous because they can smell it too and it smells delicious. So besides mini crock pots, of course we have our large crock pots and I use these uh, daily for my cooking. You can cook anything in a crock pot and it takes very low energy to do that as well. So I cook every week a whole chicken or two in the crock pot. My dad actually cooks hamburger patties who knew? You can cook lasagna, dips, anything that you could possibly think of. There is a recipe for a crock pot. Mashed potatoes, you can do that in the crock pot. It's kind of like that Portlandia, we can pickle that. Yeah, it's, we can crock pot that. It's really, really good, good stuff. So check Pinterest, there are a ton of recipes on there that I'm sure if you are looking up like, oh, crock pot lasagna, a whole slew of things will come up. And of course, this seems very old fashioned, I know, but cooking things on the stove or in the oven. It's an old school trick, but it works, I promise you. Really fast too, especially heating up soups or leftover meats on the stove, easy stuff. I cooked some, um, well actually I didn't cook it, it was already cooked in frozen chicken. I just dumped some frozen cooked chicken into my little pot, put a little tiny bit of water on it to help it kind of get going and heat up, put it on high and it was ready to go in like three minutes, so really easy. So my challenge to you for the next 30 days is to see how little you can use your microwave. Maybe get rid of it all together if you can, I don't know. Or just try to back it down to maybe once a week, once every couple days if you use it a lot, and just see what you can do. You know, use alternative methods of heating up your food. Your body will thank you, I promise. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a Daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao!